Hello and welcome back to the fourth episode of our road trip across Slovenia and Croatia. In this episode we travel from Zadar to Split and then further south to the stunning beaches of the Makarska Riviera. A 160 km drive along the coast which connects both cities. We're skipping the highway once more, which would make the trip faster in return for beautiful scenery. For just a little more. The narrow road along the coast make the trip much slower, but more enjoyable. We arrive in Split in the early afternoon, but instead of stopping in the city, we continue south for another 20 kilometers to Podstrana, where we have booked an Airbnb for the next three nights. More than a town, Potstrana is a municipality and settlement in the split Dalmatia County. It stretches for a few kilometers down the coast and it is known for its beautiful beaches where you may dine in front of the ocean while watching the sunset, which is exactly what we did. If you head south from Podstrana, you'll reach the Makarska Riviera in about an hour. Incredibly clear water runs along picturesque beaches shaded by pine trees. In the peak of summer, the beaches can become overcrowded with visitors. As a result, it is best to pick one and stick to it. Punta Rata was our destination of choice, since it is widely regarded as one of the region's most stunning beaches. The natural environment is so clean and well maintained that it makes you want to eat it.
As we made our way back to Podstrana from a day at the beach, we stopped for another amazing seafood meal. Beautiful scenery, a stunning beach and delicious food can all be found at a restaurant we discovered called Conoba Brasera, located about 5 kilometers south of Postrana. Split, the second largest city in Croatia and the largest city on the Croatian coast. Now pay attention because I'll only say this once. The city was founded as a Greek colony in the 2nd or 3rd century BC and in 305 AD it became the site of the palace of the Roman Emperor Diocletian. It later became a Byzantine city and thereafter fell into the sphere of the Republic of Venice and the Kingdom of Croatia. Split enjoyed autonomy as a free city of the Dalmatian city-states. Venice eventually prevailed and Split remained Venetian during the early modern period, a heavily fortified outpost surrounded by Ottoman territory. Then Venice fell to Napoleon and Split was included in the Napoleonic Kingdom of Italy. In 1806 it was included to the French Empire. It was then granted to the Austrian Empire until the Empire fell and in 1918 it became part of Yugoslavia. You would think that's it, but no. In World War II, the city was annexed to Italy, then liberated by the partisans. In 1943, it was occupied by Germany, which granted it to the independent state of Yugoslavia, then liberated again by the partisans in 1944, and was included in the post-war socialist Yugoslavia as part of its Republic of Croatia. In 1991, Croatia succeeded from Yugoslavia amid the Croatian independence war. There you go, another easy history lesson like we did in our previous episode in Zadar. Split regained momentum and began to flourish again in the early years following 2000 with a focus on tourism. Split has evolved from a transportation hub to a significant Croatian tourism destination. Many new hotels as well as apartments and office complexes have been constructed. Many major development projects are being resurrected and new infrastructure is being constructed. Split today is a modern city with a bright future. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing to our channel. It makes a huge difference to us and allows us to continue making travel videos like this one. Don't miss our next and final episode where we go from Split to the magical island of Var. This is Mark from Go Travel Planet signing off. See you on our next episode. Until then, ciao, alla prossima.